Welcome back to the Niagara Learning Channel. Um, we're going to commission a Mac 36 NLRS. I'll just show you that the camera. If it will, if I can get it there, not really very well. That's probably better. So you, I've got power to it, and I've connected my Ethernet cable to it. I'll put that down there. So we're going to use 192.168.1.123 for the platform. Oh, let me just show you the controller here. So you can see the controller here. We're connected into this uh, Ethernet port there. And of course we've got power on there. Uh, G0 is actually negative if you're using DC. And G is positive. I've got uh, positive 24 volts and negative in G0. I'll just move that away so the username and password is not going to be this it's going to be Trillium and it's going to be Niagara okay so let's go through this uh, configure the system passphrase etc so next so I'm going to put a passphrase in there Confirm it. Next, username. Password. Confirm the password. Passwords don't match, really. and go finish okay so we've got the we're into the platform we're going to go into uh, platform administrator I'm going to commission so it's 4.8 I'm using with this 4.12 yeah I want to configure the TCP IP settings I don't want to install additional languages I don't want to configure the system passphrase so next I want to install the licenses I'm on the internet so that should work I'm going to click WB so UX will also be clicked so I'm using them three I don't want to put the documents onto the station don't need to waste space for that transfer station don't really want to transfer a station at the moment I'll tell you what we do though we could make a station first where we can transfer let's see what I've got in here YouTube for download let's just do that one next next might have to pause you as well <coughs> because it is going to start rebooting soon no point in keeping you uh, watching it all and it reboots so this has this Mac 36 uh, has two RS485 ports one at the top and one at the bottom so it's got an RS485 port there and you can't see it there but it's got one up at the top as well that's naturally your power the, your outputs all at the bottom and all the top are all your inputs there your digital view four digital inputs at the end and then you can see the SG minus so the screen minus and plus for COM1 there let's just move that back out of the way upgrade all out of date next next now I'm going to change the IP the second IP address the reason I do this is I can connect to it 
uh, while it's still connected, if it's connected on the other Ethernet address, um, I can connect to it and look at what's going on and what it's seeing. So I always set up an extra adapter and you've got to make sure that your IPv4 address is not in the same subnet range as your other so you need to make sure this is default 192.168.1.2.3 and I'm just using 10.0.0.125 I don't need to change anything here we can put some DNS servers in there so let's do uh, 8.8.8.8 which is Google 8.8.4.4 again Google next when I keep the user as it is next and then that's going to run through and install all this lot finish sorry about that should have put it on silent. Um, this is basically the information for it all, the technical specification. 16 universal inputs, 4 digital inputs, 8 digital outputs, 8 analog outputs, and then you've got the communication that it would talk to. LAN IP, MBUS IP, KNX IP, And then your power supply, 24 volts DC, 24 volts AC. NAS controller with built-in I.O. From ISMA. Right, we don't need that anymore. So this is still going through. So I'm going to pause this now. And uh, I'll come back to you in a bit. So that's rebooted I think. I've got an, an alarm light on here which uh, I normally I don't normally see that to be honest. Uh, but I do have an alarm light on there, a red alarm light. But let's see what that's about. Let's see whether we can get into it now. So that's going to be the username and password now because I changed it so it's not default. Well we're in there. The alarm light is still on. Well, we're 4.12015, so that's fine. That's all commissioned. I'm just wondering why the alarm light is on. I've never seen that. I've got the one light flashing, the Ethernet connector, but I've got a red alarm light on constantly. And I'm not sure... I've seen that before on why it's on. Um, let's go to license manager. That is unusual for that to be uh, on. So we've got the 4.13. I don't even know there was a 4.13 yet. That's interesting. I don't know what that one does. Um, Everything's fine. Looking at that, let's see if we can go into the station. The alarm light is still on. Oh, okay. Failed. That's why the alarm light is on. Can't load the ISMA modules. Mm hmm. Cannot load module ISMAs. So does that mean I haven't got ISMA modules on my station? Let's have a look of what we have got. Uh, drive C users office 4.12 and I don't want that, that's a station. Let's just see if I'm in the right one with a Trillium EME. No, I'm not. It must be the Vicon one. Yeah, the Vicon one. So let's go to Drive C. 
and Niagara and let's go to 4.5 one was I using help about 4.120156 so it's not that one it's that one modules aha we don't have that module here that's the reason why so we've put some software on there that doesn't have that module so let's go into the other one uh, modules and go to the isma uh, isma that one there copy that paste that into modules there and then file log off file exit start it again this is a disk text stuff here and trend trend IQ vision and then the central line there and now let's go into the platform okay the alarm is still on application director let's reboot the controller so that's now rebooting let's see what happens I'll put you on pause while it boots up because it takes about three or four minutes okay let's see where we are now as you know with my videos I don't edit them or anything like that you just get what you see okay we're in there oh, alarm lights not on so that's still now alarm light is on It's my modules, can't load the ISMA modules. Let's just do a file transfer to the station. Uh, I want to be up there and I want to be in drive C. Niagara. And I'm using that one modules. Now this on the right hand side you click up here see this read only click into there click modules and I'm going to copy across the ISMA module there's another way of doing this uh, rather than doing it this way but I just prefer to just do it this way uh, but the other way is using software manager and um, adding the ISMA module that way okay transfer complete application director reboot do you wish to reboot the system yes again I'll put you on pause while that does that okay let's find out where we are now probably isn't long enough yet application director alarms not on still starting the station I'll put you on pause again now it's added the ISMA modules so I'll just take you off pause and show you that Put you back on pause until the station's loaded. I'm waiting for this box to give an IP address. Should be um, um, four nine uh, four nine one one. I have to think then. 
That's a, that would be the secure one, sorry, Fox S4911. That Fox won't be, uh, that's uh, 1911 and that won't be enabled. So Fox S will be 4911 on there, or should be. Screen flickered a little bit there. Flickering a lot. Okay, where are we? Nearly there. Okay, 4911. So we should be able to get into the station now. Uh, I don't know what this is going to be. Password one two three. Mm. Logic. Ah, oh, this is some of this stuff that I did before in previous. In fact, that brings me to something else I could do with mentioning. Uh, someone asked me just recently about putting legends on there. So let's have a, just a quick look at that. Um. So that is supply temperature and the background changes between them. So that's the blue background. So let's just take that control key C and let's go to kit PX. If it's here, if not, we're I don't know why the screen's jumping. Kit PX. And then go to Boolean image. Bring that across there. And then I'm going to paste that into there. That's one. And then go to that one control key C duplicate that change that to that one and then duplicate that again go into that heat map again so that's 22 plus 18 to 22 is that one that's uh, 22 plus control key B okay new label 22 degrees plus Duplicate, duplicate, eighteen to twenty two, eighteen to twenty two degrees. Eighteen degrees or below or we could just do less than 18 degrees and then we could just do greater than 22 degrees That's it. So you got your legend there, so the person knows what it is. All right. 
well that's it that's booting up that I need to sort out why my screen's doing what it's doing but that's booting up that controller and let me just save that action save so that's booting up a, a brand new controller with the little problems that I had and sorting them out thank you for watching if you can click subscribe I appreciate it while I sort my screen out thanks again